Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of iGel Now and Next, taking place in Miami, Florida at the Fountain Blue. And today I have the pleasure of having Lenovo with us. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, I mean, it's only been a year, right? It's only been a year. Has it been a year? Yeah. It, it seems like it was just yesterday. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Andy Nieto. Uh, I'm the senior solutions manager for Lenovo. I'm part of our consumer, uh, our commercial products group, and um, here today, really working to make sure that everybody understands what Lenovo brings to the market from our award-winning devices, the ThinkPad. Everyone knows what ThinkPad is, but uh, also just looking at our Think Client portfolio, looking at our data center offerings, and what we have with our uh, with our services group, as well as really our growing SSG, or which is our, our software and so solutions group that is driving more services, more software, and more enablement. Uh, Lenovo's really growing in the, in the idea of how do we solve problems? What's the solution? What, how, do we, how do we address the unique needs of customers and, and being positioned with really the only desktop to data center company in the world right now and being the leader? Uh, really is a fun place to be. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. Um, and I know you guys had a, a lot of announcements today at the uh, on the keynote. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about some of those solutions and um, how you're solving problems for your customers. Sure. So one of the things we announced today was the Lenovo V100Q. It's a new thin client coming out uh, early this, this fall. And um, it's really being positioned as a true thin client. Lenovo for years has taken our award-winning PC market and just created a, a variant that's a thin client. But this is really the first time Lenovo said, we're going to go full-fledged into the thin client market and have a true thin client out there. Um, it's unique in the fact that it's, it's Alder-like, so it's, it is a newer processor. Uh, it is the N-series, uh, and, and um, its starting price is going to be below $200 with iGel preloaded. So that's pretty amazing. That's a pretty cool place to be, and still have it work with our Tiny One ecosystem, all the different mounting solutions. It's still our commercial BIOS for security, uh, and some of the unique features like the ability to do uh, to do Control-P to actually turn on the machine without having to reach up and touch it. So that's kind of a, a lot of amazing energy inside of a small box. Now you talked about some of your unique features. Um, what, what are some of the other things that really kind of make you guys stand out from the rest of the competitors? I would love to say it's our reliability. I would love to say it's our quality. I would love to say it's just the, the, the iconic brand that Lenovo is. But I think also it's the fact that we have a really unique way of approaching our customers. We're very channel driven, so we partner with our customers with their partners who they, that they want to work with. Um, that in healthcare, for example, we have a dedicated healthcare sales organization that really understands the healthcare market. That's a, a unique feature. And then the fact that we have a solution me methodology, a solution mentality, where don't just tell me what speeds and feeds and bits and bytes you want to buy, but what is it you're trying to solve? How are we going to solve that? Because today's problems are not, I need a faster computer. Today's problems are, I have less money, I'm trying to do more things with this, I'm trying to address market pressures from the end of Windows 10, and what am I doing with my digital workspace, and how do I manage my digital workspace, and now I have more people be doing bring your own device, and how do we manage that? So being able to look at the entire portfolio and saying, here are a set of solutions that we can drive and solve for is a really fun place to be. Now you kind of talked about some of the integrations between iGel. Um, can you tell us a little more about your partnership with iGel? We've been a partner for, with iGel in some way or another for, it seems like forever, but at, at least in that in the last four years, we've been a, a strong partner with iGel. Um, we uh, provide a number of devices, both desktop as well, uh, as well as mobile devices that are preloaded with iGel. Uh, we, uh, even though we are a hardware OEM, we can sell the iGel license. Uh, we have a new support offering that offers hardware and software support for iGel and extending that, that hardware support to match uh, your hardware warranty to match your iGel warranty, so you have kind of coterminous effect there. And then 
really kind of fun to start looking at what are the other packages and pieces we can bring together. Uh, we just recently did a deployment with a company that really wanted us to go in, reclaim their old equipment, deploy new equipment and take that old equipment and find new homes for it, find a, a second life for that equipment. So we're addressing the whole circular economy, we're preventing the devices from going in the landfill, we're providing that white glove service for delivery of product. It's a really, really good place to be. And we kind of talked earlier that, you know, um, AI is one of the hot topics and, you know, we say, this is the year of AI, but you said no, right? I don't think this is the year of AI. Let me tell you why. AI is, has been around forever. I, I believe that was 1956 when, at a Dartmouth conference, the actual term artificial intelligence was first written down. So it, the concept of artificial intelligence, or AI, has been around for decades. So what's new, what's different? Yes, we now have generative AI, now we have access to it. We have the compute power to do something with it. But we haven't solved for what I'm going to do with it. I have all these jobs. If I'm in healthcare, I still want to go see a doctor. I don't want a computer to diagnose me. If I'm going to the bank, I, yes, I love that AI is giving me better options for my investments. I still want to go talk to the teller and make sure that and have confidence in the bank I'm working with. Uh, and so I don't think we've solved the problems. I think we've created more tools to address them, but I don't think we've, we've come full circle and here's, the, here's the, the perfect app, here's the perfect software, here's the perfect solution. So I don't think it's the AI year of AI yet. I think it is the year of change, of embracing how do we address the, the digital workspace and the cost of cloud versus the cost of data center. How do we address Windows 10 end of life and what is going on with Windows? How do we uh, address our changing workforce? Our workforce is really, really changing. We have an elderly workforce. We've got a very young workforce. We've got a very diverse workforce. And that's all changing. AI is great, but it doesn't solve any of those things until we have the killer app. We have the solution. So I think this is the year of next. Well, great. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Um, before we let you go, if people can't be here at the show, uh, what's a great way for them to learn more about some of the things you talked about today? So uh, when it comes to the show itself, obviously iGel.com, great place to go and get a lot of information there. To know a little bit more about what Lenovo's doing, uh, you can either go to Lenovo's site on iGel.com or to go to Lenovo.com and uh, get more information. Uh, of course, we have uh, a bunch of posts that came out today on LinkedIn. We have some new posts that are coming out uh, all the time. Uh, and feel free to reach out to us at any time. Well, great. Always a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you so much.